Well, it's an exciting time on the Big Island. Day two of Kilauea's eruption. Lots of folks going to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park to check it out. It is a sight to see. And joining us now live from the Big Island is Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientist in charge, Ken Hahn. Ken, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. And we know as of this morning, you folks downgraded the status of this eruption from a warning to a watch, right? But what's the very latest on this eruption? Well, it, it's proceeding in a similar fashion to uh, most of the previous Kilauea summit eruptions. It's, they start off with a lot of stored magma, so we have a tremendous amount of uh, lava coming out of the ground in the initial stages, and then it gradually tapers off as the eruption goes on. So so we're still seeing a pretty high volume of lava, not, not as much as yesterday, but uh, we still have a lot of activity along about half of the fissure system. And Ken, how is this eruption different from the last one back in June, also in Hale Mau Mau Crater? Well, there's some similarities in how they started off. They, this one started off a little bit to the east, kind of, of the edge of the old crater instead of the center. And that's where the highest fountains were. And then this one then departed pretty significantly by opening up a, a set of fissures that ran for uh, about three quarters of a mile from the edge of Hale Ma'u Crater to across what we call the downdrop block, which used to be a piece of Kilauea caldera floor or Kalua Pele floor that had downdropped in 2018. So it went all the way across that and then partway up the wall of that uh, crater as well. And we know obviously you don't have a crystal ball, but is there anything that you do anticipate moving forward? Well, you know, we we definitely anticipate this to continuing to decline in the volume until it gets down to kind of the sustainable volume, which is a couple cubic yards per second. Um, so that'll probably happen within a week, a week and a half or something, and things will calm down a little bit. And we'll see a lava lake get established someplace uh, in that area. It already seems to be on kind of the eastern edge of the old Halima'oma'u crater floor. And can you mention week, week and a half? So if somebody makes a trip out to the Big Island, plans for a trip maybe in the next few weeks, should they expect to still see it going? Well, that, that's always the tricky part. We're, we're much better at telling you when an eruption is going to start than when an eruption is going to end. And, you know, as we know, the one in June only lasted for a couple of weeks, so it was pretty short. And the one that started in January was also reasonably short, right? It only lasted for a couple of months. So we went from having the, the eruption that started in September of 2021, lasted for over a year, and then we had one for two months and one for a little over two weeks. So it's a little harder to say how long these will go. So the, if you want to see it, it's best to come see it when you know it's going. And no community is threatened right now at this time, but is there anything that residents should know? Um, well, you should always be prepared living on any of our islands because we're exposed to many different kinds of natural hazards. But here, the, the we don't expect the lava to leave the confines of Kalua Pele, and it'll stay in that summit area. We've seen no indication of it of any movement down the East Rift Zone, which is the part of Kilauea that leads into populated areas. So residents for this eruption can certainly rest easy. That's good news. Thank you so much, Ken Hahn, Hawaii Volcano Observatory, scientist in charge. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Ken.